Okay, which leads us to item number five, uh, approved the minutes from last meeting. If we could get uh, a motion to uh, bring that to the floor. Um, and uh, it's not only the meeting of November 19th, but also the special meeting for December 3rd. We're okay? Yeah. Okay. You could get a second on that? Second. Thank you. Uh, any questions, any corrections, comments, concerns? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. All opposed? Brings us to Mr. Forbes and the financial treasurer's report. No. That's you. That's me. Change, change <laughs> orders. It's a change. Um, I think that we're going to go one at a time, but I'm going to ask um, that we bring, at least bring it to the floor. Uh, we need a, a, a motion to bring to the floor the approval of the change order uh, for $4,609. Can I get an, a motion to just bring it to the floor so we can discuss that? Ms. Gaggenstatz, and a second. Second. Mr. Forrester. Okay. Mr. Sertisio. Um Well, I can answer, I, I think I can answer a question for all the change orders, um, but I am certainly willing to talk about them individually as well. Uh, any of the change orders you're seeing now, uh, because we um, are, <clears throat> we, we have added things to the scope of the project. So these are not um, necessarily errors or emissions uh, from our architect or any, any of our contractors. It's those things that we were able to uh, add to the project because our bids came in well under budget. So in, in the case of the first change order, um, you, you have noticed if you've been there by the event entry that there's a, a new paneling there and we removed the, the, green, uh, the green tile that existed there for many years and replaced it with uh, some, some metal paneling and school colors. Uh, still to be installed there are uh, uh, some signage that should say, uh, will say uh, we're doing an events entry. Um, we really just kind of set that area off as a special place to enter for arts, music, or, or athletics. Do we have any questions? The, the uh, facilities committee is if they reviewed this a, a long time ago, yes. A long time ago. So they're aware of it, they understand it. They're, okay. Um, any other questions then? Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? We have a. Uh, I guess I'm going to just go through each individual. Mr. Sure. If we could bring uh, the second one to the, the floor, it is uh, approving the change order DC 11 uh, for $19,540. If I could get a motion on that. Mr. Schatz, in a second to bring that to the floor. Oh, sorry. Okay. Mr. Johnson, um, if we could just get an explanation on that. Yeah, if you recall, both of the student suites areas were, um, we, we considered those uh, an ancillary uh, uh, components of the, of the project, and they were added on again um, uh, because our bids came in uh, in such a positive manner. Um, we did, uh, at Mr. Paschke and his student services team, request make some significant changes to uh, uh, the student services area to better accommodate office space and conference space. Um, and, and as such, you know, we need some new, new ceilings, new millwork, doors, hardware, etc. Um, and, and that's the cost that associated with those changes. Okay. Thank you. Any questions? <coughs> um, I yes. talked to Mr. Sufficio before the meeting, and uh, he gave a brief explanation as to some of the changes, and it was mostly the user group uh, and, and their needs being met. Um, so, um, we tried to get in there this evening and uh, we didn't have a key, so Mr. Sertitio assured me that it was well spent money. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Thank you. 
We need to bring to the floor the approval of change order GC12 in the amount of $2,173. Um, an increase in the contract of $2,173. Can I get a motion to bring that to the floor, please? So moved. Mr. Forrester in a second. Second. Ms. Gavin Schatz. Uh, if we could get an explanation on that, please. Yeah, this is an, uh, um, an area where um, we determined that uh, it was much better off to, to tile some areas that were uh, going to be left in the, particularly in the, in the team locker room, in the boys' lock, uh, boys team room, with blue tile on, on, on the walls that you know, when everything else was installed, you know, in the great orange you know, school colors with black lockers and, and blue tile. And so we, we determined that it was in the best interest, really, of the aesthetics of that area to change it over to that white subway tile we've seen in other spaces. Uh, in addition, there was some tile work done at a district office rather than leave some exposed uh, cinder block or painted cinder block. We had that tiled as well. So some of those minor aesthetic things that uh, we thought needed to be done. And I will say that in this area, this, that those two things were something that was overlooked. Um, but it's like when you remodel your remodel your kitchen and you forget to paint a wall, it, it stands out uh, pretty drastically. So we decided that we needed to make those adjustments. Okay. Any questions? Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Uh, uh, all opposed? We have the fourth change order, GC13, in the amount of 1070. Can I get a motion to bring that to the floor, please? So we'll Ms. Johnson in a second. Second. Ms. Gagan Schatz. Next. The, just here. Yeah, this is, this is a scenario where the doors that were installed um, just don't meet the, the needs or ex expectations. Uh, for example, the uh, doorway in the secure vestibule to the high school office is a double panel window and is anything but secure. Um, so that door is being changed out for, for a, a, a narrow uh, window door. And we've had, had to make a couple of adjustments elsewhere. Um, but, you know, the point of the project is to be secure. So I've got to have the, the door in the, in the office be, be the correct type of door. And as such, we've had to incur some additional costs. We talked, I think we talked previously at this table that there is a certain threshold when it comes to working with architects uh, in terms of errors and issues. <coughs> So while this certainly was an error uh, in, in, the, in the planning on, on their part, um, it is within their threshold of, uh, of expectations, I guess. Although clearly by my tone, it's outside my er my threshold of expectations. But we need the right door. Bottom line. I would just like to say that I would uh, accept that it would be. Uh, beyond what we would expect from you, but not from the architects. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Opposed. <coughs> opposed. So noted. Which brings us to personnel. Um, personnel. <laughs> Do we have anything to talk about in personnel? <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, if I could get a motion to bring uh, a recommendation for tenure for uh, Elizabeth Robinson to the floor, please. So, Mr. Jambrone, and if I could get a second. Mr. <laughs> <Jackson>. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Um, before you speak, I will say um, that the board feels this is a big deal, okay? And I can tell by the smile on your face, <laughs> you do too. Um, I think it was Ms. Drollinger who said, you know, this is a privilege. Um, and, and it's not given to just anybody. Uh, we, we vet people. We make sure they're the right. We get recommendations um, uh, of, of both our principal and our superintendent. Um, so we, we don't take this lightly. And with that, I will... 
You're going to turn it over to me. I'm, I'm going to turn it over to you. <laughs> well, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Drawing. <laughs> <Collins, laughs> and I'm going to follow him. Thank, Thank you. That's okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Um, yeah, like you said, it, granting tenure is one of the most important things that a principal can do because I hope to be here a long time and I hope to work with you a long time. So it is with my full recommendation that you, you, you earn tenure. And uh, I remember one of the first interactions that we have, it's you are the kind of person that I want to work with because I see um, your passion for kids and your willingness to grow. And she's a member of our book club that, that, we, that we've been doing. So you, you do the kind of things that um, are great. You work with our youngest kids. And Beth is a first grade teacher. Um, and those are the kids that need the love that you bring to the school every day. So I appreciate you supporting me. And, and I feel comfortable asking you for help. And, um, and I think you feel comfortable providing it to me too. So I think that um, this partnership is great, and I really look forward to working alongside you for a long time. So, um, you have the the distinct honor of being recommended not by just one principal, but by two. And so, Miss Piper is, is convalescing. Kind of I did speak with her, and she sang your praises and said she has the utmost respect for you, and, and is very proud of the teacher you, you've grown to be. And Mr. Jones, you're sung your praises as well. Personally, one of the things I've no noticed about you for a long time is that you are an incredibly kind person. And, and I recognize that, and that's really such a key to being a fantastic teacher. And I so much enjoyed um, my personal observation of you working with some really challenging kids. And I believe I showed up and you said, well, we have recess now, so can you come back? And, and that tells me you have great encouragement. So you invited me back right after recess. <laughs> so I, I knew at that point, like, yeah, she's a keeper. So, um, you know, I, I'm proud that you're on our team. Um, you must be exhausted at the end of the day working with those youngest ones, and that's why when I left your classroom, I realized why I was a secondary uh, educator before I got into the administration. But congratulations to you. Assuming the board approves you in a minute. No pressure. Thank you, Mary. We'll clap after the vote. Any other comments? No? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Congratulations. Thank you. Anything you would like to say? Um, okay. <laughs> um, uh, it's been a privilege to work um, here at Fredonia. And um, like you all say, it's, it's all about the support. It's all about working as a team. And I feel like I definitely feel part of the team from the team that I work with, the first grade teacher, teachers all the way up. Um, so thank you for all the support that everyone has given me. So we celebrate tenure in this district. Mm -hmm. We only do it once a year. Right. So, <laughs> so we're inviting you back for our tenure celebration in the, in the, in the spring. Great. Okay. okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Great. Okay, we have uh, the appointment of personnel to a probationary position for Jill Zibach. 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 Uh, can I have that brought to the floor, please? So we'll, Mr. Forster in a second. Mr. Johnson. Uh, any questions? Any comments on that? No? All those uh, in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, all opposed? <clears throat> okay, now, um, we have the amendment of uh, appointment of personnel probationary, probationary positions. Um, if I could get a motion to bring this to the floor for discussion. So we'll, Mr. Hawk, in a second. Second. I did. Did I, did I hear you? Yeah. Sorry. Mr. Denmark. Mr. Mr. Jim Brown, second. Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, if you would like to discuss this to explain why this is on here yeah. for the third. Yeah, it's really, 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 really <laughs> interesting. Um, you know, Mr. Kacklemeyer is a retired New York State police officer, and as such, he draws attention from New York State. As you're aware, um, those folks who are in the, in the public retirement system are limited in how much they can earn, and that maximum amount is $30,000. Uh, there is a waiver process 
uh, through New York State, it's called a 211 waiver, um, where uh, in certain hard to fill positions, and I certainly would consider this one, you can apply or we can apply as a district to, on his behalf, so that he can receive a wa waiver and thus earn more than that $30,000. Mr. Kakamar was in, in the unique position of not only having a contract with us, in which he was earning X amount of dollars, but he also was, uh, was a coach for a, a district that we won't name at this table, um, <laughs> um, pushing him over that threshold. So uh, Ms. Slago has done uh, some great work in working with the, uh, the waiver office, and it, the language that is before you is what they are requesting. So um, Ms. Slago had, had to really marry language that the waiver office needed along with what the civil service uh, office expected from us, and um, in order to finish the application for Mr. Kaplan's waiver, we needed board action, and that's why it is on the agenda for this evening. It does not change his terms of employment in any way, shape, or form. Um, it's simply uh, a means to request that he be allowed to earn over that $30,000 threshold. Signify by saying aye. Aye. Um, all opposed? Thank you. We have uh, the resignation uh, for the purpose of retirement for Connie Labreski. Um, can I bring, get a motion to bring that to the floor, please? So move <coughs> Forrester in a second. Second. Um, Service to the district. Thank you very much. Um, any other questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Thank you. Um, which brings us to new business. So I need to bring this to the floor. That was that was excluded on the agenda from consent. From consent. From consent. It was excluded from consent so that we could have Mr. Rollett present the program. We don't have any. I have eight new business Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I I missed that. Um, we have the approval of a new sports program. Um, if I could get that brought to the floor for discussion. So moved. Mr. Hawk, in a second. No second. Mr. Johnson, um, you want to explain this? Do you want to sure. just throw it off to Mr. Sure. Lauer? Sure. Well, I, I, I want to I'll, I'll say a couple more okay. words and I'll turn it over to Mr. Lauer as he gets ready to <coughs> present to you. But, um, th this is a, a concept that I'm, I'm quite familiar with and uh, from my work in a previous district. Um, when, when Mr. Lauer brought this to me, I, it, was, it was with a smile on my face that it was, it, it was an easy yes to move forward. It is a situation where we will bring our, our um, special education students, our most needy students, uh, in conjunction with our, our non-identified students uh, to a uh, playing field, in this case a, a playing lane in terms of, of, of bowling. But I don't want to say too much more because I, I really want to hear from, from Mr. Lauer. But before I turn it over to him, I just want to thank you and I want to thank your colleagues in, in our county for uh, pursuing this. Um, I think when the board hears it more, your, your hearts are going to be warmed. And I'm really, really excited, um, assuming you approve it, again, no pressure, um, <laughs> for, uh, for this season to start. Go ahead, Mr. Lauer. Um, again, I mean, basically you guys have all the information um, in the board packet of what this kind of entails. This was kind of brought to me by... Um, I started working with Silver Creek a little bit. We started talking about offering unified basketball. 
but seeing as that mid-year, it seemed like just a very large kind of undertaking to start with the basketball program. So we started talking about bowling, and Alex Conti really kind of pushed this um, for us there. And basically what it entails is that um, uh, our students with intellectual disabilities would be paired with some general education students. Um, the bowling team basically consists of six athletes that they say score, um, and then you have six um, what they call partners that pair with them. And how they kind of score a bowling match is one match is where we have a partner and an athlete paired against another partner and an athlete, and then we have another match with a partner and athlete versus a partner and athlete, and then we have um, two partners and two athletes versus two partners and two athletes, and they score just like a normal match, and you play against other schools, you travel, you have uniforms, and they really try and make it as much as like normal sports as they really are. Um, the big push is to have a lot more inclusion in terms of um, promoting activities where it's the general education students come out and support the, uh, this team. Um, it, it's a lot easier with basketball, obviously, to fill a gym and, and get them involved in that. And that's something we certainly want to look forward to pushing into next year um, as that's offered in the spring. But the bowling is a great place to start. I think our clubs would be very interested in organizing um, trips over to Lucky Lanes where we have two of, two of our matches over there to kind of support um, these student athletes. Um, everything is kind of outlined in terms of the cost and everything that we had in there. Um, we would be looking to hire um, a youth activation coordinator. This is kind of the person that is involved in getting more, it's more than just the sport of it, it's getting the activities um, kind of started there. And Kristen Tomaszewski does a lot of this stuff already where we get our general education students working with our um, special needs students and, and it really works well with, together with the pairing. Um, they're already, you know, they're coming into the classes at this point and um, kind of working with our general education students and I think I, I've had brief discussions with her about this and getting her involved in that and Alex Conti has graciously volunteered to be our coach this year. Um, currently they've, they've um, talked about what our schedule would be like. Um, there would be five regular matches, two of them at Lucky Lanes and then we would travel to Orchard Park, Iroquois, and Silver Creek to play our away matches. And then they do one huge kind of tournament um, with everybody at Akron, with all the schools that are involved in bowling, kind of just a big fiesta type thing where everyone's bowling and having a great time um, at the beginning of March. So basically the season runs through February. Um, we hold two or three practices before the season starts, and then uh, we get going with it. So uh, is there anyone that has any questions on what the program is? I mean, certainly we want to build this into, um, you know, kind of let the bowling kind of springboard us into the basketball program um, moving into next year. Did, did you say February and March? Or? So practices can start January 20th, and we're looking at having, <clears throat> I think, three practices, and then February 3rd is the first match, okay. and then it ends March 2nd. But, well, in, like our kids that are on winter sports teams, will they be able to get to They would not be able to participate at this time in it because we're looking at after school time and they'd still be in their winter sports. So um, Alex kind of started talking to some kids that aren't involved in those winter sports, which again would be a great opportunity for those kids to get involved in something as well. I just want that. That's a great program. Um, and I'm glad that we're looking into it and hopefully we'll be starting now. But one of the things as I look through this and read it, it stated that you call them a coach or the supervisor or whatever the terminology is. I don't believe in receiving a stipend. And is that correct? Or did I miss something? So this is what was recommended to me. Um, that we treat this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what was recommended to me by the state when I talked to them is they want you to um, treat this as a normal sport like you normally would. So yes, as I kind of started to talk to Mr. Tizio about um, looking at putting this into the contract going into next year, Alex has at this point um, graciously said he would volunteer this year to do it. But okay. well, I, got a little, I think that this is something that probably could come under the umbrella of uh, intramurals. So we're not looking at an absorbent amount of money. But I think an individual that's going to be involved for an extended period of time mm -hmm. and uh, I think should receive some kind of compensation. And I know you're going to be negotiating uh, 
your contract and coming up in the next year or so, then you could add that in as you wish. But I would like to see at this point, and this is something I don't think we need a FDA approval, <coughs> counted as perhaps a, an intramural program of some sort, so that there's some minimal monies of, uh, being sent or given to the person that's the code. Sure. So um, the administration or whomever needs to discuss that, but I think that that would be appropriate. Okay. <coughs> When you talk about this coach, you, you said that basketball is something else that you guys want to do. So you're looking at different coaches for different sports throughout the school year for this program? So basically they only offer bowling and basketball. Okay. Bowling is offered in the month of February, basically. And okay. then basketball takes place toward the end of April, runs into May. Okay. Um, so it's in a different time of the season as well. So really, when we get it into the FTA contract, we would put it out there like any sport that we have. And you expect one person to do both things? Not necessarily, no. I mean, if, if they're interested in that, if that's the way it works out, yes, but we might get other people interested once the program is out there. Any other questions? No? Okay. All those uh, in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Uh, we next have the approval of the creation of uh, uh, project class night uh, as submitted by Ms. Cooper and Zach employees. Uh, can I have a motion to bring that to the floor? So move. Mr. Forrester in a second. Second. Mr. Hawk. Um, I, I know you have concerns you just want to find out more about. I was just curious. Um, because so uh, I know this project class night has been going on forever, um, <clears throat> and what does that mean by like what does it look like for an extracurricular organization? That type of thing. So I don't anticipate any changes in what you actually see for for project class night uh, in terms of the, of the product and the work with the folks too. Uh, the nuance here is for a number of years project class night um, kept the funds that they collected at, at the credit union. Okay. Um, which really isn't the best practice. Um, so this brings Project Class Night under the umbrella of extracurricular activities, mm -hmm. and then it is now bound by the, the rules of our central treasurer and so on and so forth. Um, and Mr. Forbes and I went back and forth on whether we really, really needed board action on this or not, and, and he won out. Um, and if you want to explain further about the finances, yeah, uh, basically, uh, Kathy Cooper came and talked to me and talked about the fact they wanted to have some fundraising and maintain the balance. And then we started talking about some of the things that we do in our office, which is where if a teacher, for example, gets a grant from somebody, we'll hold that money and then they spend it down that way. But this sounded to me like it was more involving the students. And by nature of pamphlet two, which is the interstate regulations for extra classroom activity funds, it sounded to me like it needed to be under the umbrella of a high school mm -hmm. extra classroom fund. By that regulation, it requires a statement of purpose, a student treasurer, and therefore has to be recognized in the motion they have today. And it also gives us much, much, not that we need it, but it gives us much better oversight over the, over the funds. Mm -hmm. So does this fall under the, the contract then? It's in the contract. Yeah. It's, actually, it's already the, in the contract. The stipends contract. have already, they're already in the contract with the FTA, and it's not going to change that. This is simply recognizing it as a club and placing it on a new high school. Okay. Extra classroom. So in future years, when we approve all of the high school clubs, right. it will be sort of listed there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. All, right. Right. all opposed. Okay. We uh, need this spot in the meeting. Or to hear from the public. Uh, the board is reserved this time to hear comments from the audience. So wishing to address the board or ask a stand, give their name and address, and limit their comments to five minutes or less per individual or group. Audience members seeking a response to complete a board correspondence and return to the district clerk, Christine Slega. So this is a part with, uh, of the meeting where anyone can make a comment on anything. Uh, that may or may not have been on the agenda. So if anyone want to address the board? No? All right. Hi, 
Hi, thank you. My name is Marissa Burr. Do I have to state my address? Yes. Uh, 28 Kai Street, Philly, New York. Um, I, we were talking about the locker rooms, and I know we, and the team rooms that we did um, under the construction project, and I was just wondering, um, I know that the girls' locker room was kind of lined out on there, but when will those change, and will any changes be made because um, the bathrooms that are in there are not really of good quality and don't always work. So I was wondering if there were any changes or if we could slate that because those are kind of important things <coughs> to have in a working locker room. <coughs> Thank you. This, this really isn't a time where we are going to respond, but we will take your, your question. Uh, if you would, do we have a, uh, a yeah. correspondence? So in the back if, of the room, there's a sheet. Mm -hmm. So just fill that out with your question, and then I give it back to you. And, and make sure your your contact information is on there, and we'll have someone get back to you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. With, but thank you for your comments. That's always a very positive thing when our students take take initiative and get involved. Thank you. Class president too. Yes. Correct? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Any other comments? Okay. Um, the next uh, regular Board of Education meeting will be next year, January 7th, 2020, 6 p.m., right here uh, in the high school library. Uh, Mr. Sepicio, do you have anything additional to add for me? Sure. I have a couple of things I just want to update uh, the group on. Uh, you're aware we had a small fire in our middle school gym last evening. <laughs> Thank you to Mrs. Kaufman, uh, Mr. Winchell, and Mr. Forbes for the response and assistance uh, last night. Thank you also to the coaches who ensured our students were safe. Especially thank you to Mr. Ball for manning the fire extinguisher and limiting the amount of damage to our gym floor. Uh, of course, a special thank you to our fire department for their quick response and for their efforts in clearing the area of smoke. Uh, today we had a, uh, our electrician checks the, check the fixture to determine the cause of the fire. At this point, we believe it was a faulty uh, ballast. We've been assured that this is a rare occurrence. Um, our electrician did check all the light fixtures in the gym and gave us a positive report. However, we're going to do some further work in investigating that, the lighting in that area um, through our, our new architects. Uh, Mr. Forbes has been in contact with our flooring company. We should know more about, uh, about cost and timeline to replace or repair the floor in the next week or so. Our insurance carrier has been notified. Uh, I do want to note that we practice fire drills eight times a year and seldom ever have to put that training to use. Last night we did, and thankfully all involved responded calmly and professionally just as expected. Update on our construction project. I've said this three meetings now, and hopefully this one's the charm, but our student <laughs> services suites in both the middle and high school should really be open for business before winter recess. We are very close. Uh, entry doors have been installed in all of our schools and our ancillary areas like the flagpole entrance and our event entry. Uh, we are still finishing up some elect elect electrical work and programming work in those areas to make sure the fobs work. Uh, we are so also are, will be retrofitting all of those doors with, uh, with key locks so that we can, it's called dogging down, so we can open the doors um, very easily so at, at the night of an event. For instance, if there's a basketball game, our, our custodians can operate in the same way that they always have to make sure our, our, our community has access to the building. Um, we are getting closer to figuring out uh, on the remainder of what will be included in the project, but before I can bring it back uh, fully to the facilities committee, we're waiting for inf information on pricing for a new generator and whether we can address the ventilation issues in our pool area through the project. And as I said a moment ago, uh, taking a deeper look at that lighting in the middle school gym. So um, I know I've shared some spreadsheets with the facilities committee and had some uh, conversations. <coughs> um, and now we just need to, to finalize that, that final extra scope, which will include change orders, but these are change orders that we're choosing, not ones that have been done unto us. Finally, tomorrow afternoon, a good number of our high school students and maybe some of these folks sitting right here uh, and staff members will join the gathering at the Opera House in support of the Fredonia Community's Earning Recognition, our, Fredo our Fredonia Community Earning Recognition in the Small Business Revolution Contest. I look forward to joining community leaders and business owners in this unique and important opportunity, and we're hoping for light winds and no snow. Right? You're going to deliver that for me? 
I think you're going to get neither of that. <laughs> 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 so wear a hat and gloves tomorrow if you're, uh, if you're attending, but it's, it's, a, it's a great cause and I'm, I'm happy to support it. Great, thank you. Mr. Jim Brown, no, do you have anything to add? No, thank you. No? Mr. Ock? Just happy holidays to everybody. Yeah. We'll see you next year. Yeah. Very nice. You forgot that. You forgot that. Hey, Mr. Ock. <laughs> Mr. Forrester. No, thank you. Yes, there's one last Chautauqua County School Boards Association meeting uh, next Monday the 16th about tuitioning students between Chautauqua Lake and Ripley Central. Um, the superintendents will be there and we'll talking about how that collaboration has worked out and their conversation and how it started. Um, it's at the Chautauqua Harbor Hotel. Um, so hopefully a few of us can go. And I don't know when it's due. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <coughs> so please you're, let Christine know by tomorrow. You're planning on I believe I will double check my calendar, but I'm pretty sure I'm going. Was, was anybody else planning on attending? No? Okay. Um, Ms. Slagle, if you would put me down. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Uh, well, Mr. Sertissio mentioned the, our group, we have uh, the Interact Club will be attending, several of the other students we were able to <coughs> procure a bus from First Student to help us uh, get down there, so that was very nice of First Student, I'd like to thank them. And um, next week, before we head out, uh, we, we have one of our Pride events, our uh, Cookies and Cocoa event, so uh, we, we, I unfortunately am going to be baking some cookies uh, at the beginning of next week, and uh, we, we have the kids come and decorate cookies. Uh, so we have all sorts of different frostings and sprinkles and all the cool stuff and, and hot chocolate. So that will be an event that we'll be doing next week before we head, head out for break. And happy holidays to everyone. Um, I understand that we are, this wasn't your deal, but we're being asked to judge some doors. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, you are. Are you, are you uh, capable of discussing that a little, or um, is, yes. is there anyone who, sure. who was planning on? I think so. Okay. I've been roped in. You've been roped in. <laughs> yes. I believe that we have uh, tried to be very conscious of. of Fire prevention as we've been decorating our doors. He's starting to twitch. Speak quickly before he falls out of his That's chair. That's right. And, and honestly, uh, some really impressive doors. So it, it's it's exciting. The, the the high school looks great. If you happen to cruise through any of the halls, the many most of the teachers have decorated their doors. It, it's uh, some of them very creative. Um, you might want to check Mr. Kappelmeyer's door. He has uh, the North Pole's most wanted uh, outside of his, his doorway, which is pretty cool. I don't even know where his office is. Uh, it's, it's, our, right, it's inside of our ISS room, which is appropriate oh. also. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's la last room on the right down here. But uh, yeah, so please please check that out. We appreciate anyone that, that is going to be judging. It just, it, it's fun. It's a really exciting time of year. And, and it, it's, the, the kids like it. The teachers are all excited about it. They spend a lot of time decorating their doors. I, I mean, there may have been some hot glue involved somewhere, but... Shh. Stop talking. <laughs> you talked about that. <laughs> I know. Do you have dollar bills on your door? I, I, My door is falling cold. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to push John's buttons a little bit. Okay. <laughs> um, if we, we, I guess I would rather coordinate yeah, together fine. rather yeah. than doing it yeah, at three different times just to go through. You're not going to influence my my vote. No, I assume we're getting like no. I'm expecting cookies from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I give well, you a bottle of water. So I'm <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, Ms. Troutman. Well, I wasn't going to bring up the door decorating <laughs> contest because I didn't want to upset anybody. But we are also doing that in the middle school. We will have judging going on. I'll probably get some of these people uh, to judge our doors and we are giving off some prizes. So the kids are having a ball helping their teachers 
uh, decorate the door. So it's a lot of fun. Um, we are doing our Pride Assembly, like I said, uh, next Friday, and so we're very excited about that. We have invited uh, uh, Mr. Shanahan's uh, carolers in to, to walk through and sing for us during it as well, so we're excited about that. We have Shake on the Lake coming in in the afternoon on that day. Um, um, and I don't know all the details, but it's... Um, it's a company that will do like some acting and drama. Oh, no, it's chocolate milkshakes. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, Michelle Brino has uh, arranged for them to come in in the afternoon, so our kids will have a really nice day next Friday. Okay. Thanks for drawing. Um, swing by if you're in the building. Take us in our building. We don't need a competition. They're just decorating <laughs> all the time. It's a party. <laughs> And then uh, Monday we've got the didgeridoo down under band coming, and it's a group nice. from uh, Australia who plays the didgeridoos, and they make it interactive for the kids, and they deliver a positive message. So that'll be a fun experience for our kids. A didgeridoo? It's like a. We have one at home. Oh yeah, you have one, right? Yeah. yeah. Mr. Forbes. No? Mr. Never heard the word did redo before. What? Really? Oh, did you? Yeah. you shouldn't admit that publicly. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I'm like, 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 I'm Last week, Tuesday, we had our first Smart Schools Investment Plan Committee meeting. Uh, we have, uh, it's a meeting, it's a committee that's being led by Doug Prince and myself. We're working to put together another uh, project or a series of projects using our Smart Schools money. So we hope to come to the board probably at the earliest in February with a presentation. So I want to keep your heads up on that. Okay. Report. Mr. Earl. Nothing, thank you. Nothing? Nothing. 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 Uh, if there is nothing else, uh, I need a motion to return. That's three tonight. Let's get a second. 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 All in favor? Aye. We are adjourned at 7.58.